Hi, my name is Andrea and this is Christine and we're both from virtualenglish.eu.com and we're going to show you a short demonstration on how our software works. I'll pass you over to Christine now. Okay, so the first thing that you will get to begin your virtual classroom is an invitation for an online event. This will appear in your email and it's how you get into the virtual classroom. So after receiving the email, you push on the invite and it brings you to a link and automatically you are in the classroom. There's nothing to upload and actually you don't need anything but your laptop, a webcam and a headset. So you don't need to download or upload any software. Once you're in the classroom, you hit the webcam at, icon at the top and your webcam will adjust and will focus on you and it will give you one picture of yourself and a picture of the instructor. Now here we see the attendees in the class. So we have the teacher at the top in bold and then underneath we would have the students that were invited. So we usually have a minimum of five students in a group. Um, so this is more what it would look like if you had an intensive. So you can put your picture of yourself and your teacher anywhere you'd like. Um, I recommend in this area because you have the chat down here and you'll be asked to answer grammar questions or to practice your writing or sometimes to discuss or speak with other students in this section. Now this is the interactive whiteboard. And what we have first is a document share. We use PowerPoint and we uh, do PowerPoint presentations that are very colorful. This one is for children and the lesson theme is animals. And uh, your screen would look a bit more like this and the chat would be over here. And we would start with um, uh, basically some vocabulary. So here we have do you know these creatures? Put them in alphabetical order. So you would start by ZZ zebra, elephant, crane, and ask you to repeat. Now, can you hear us? Yeah, you can, because with your headset, you hear the teacher, and you can speak to the teacher. So she can hear you speaking as well as you can hear her speaking. We would ask you to put them in alphabetical order and probably put it in the chat section. And then the next exercise is to name that animal. And we have some very colorful pictures to review some vocabulary. And then we would start with the let's talk section, which would be the warmer, which is uh, to generate conversation. Then we have the grammar spot. And this and in this particular lesson, it's on comparatives and superlatives. So we are asking you to describe the animals, fluffy, fluffier, fluffiest hairy, hairier, hairiest, and so on. And then the last part here is the uh, reading comprehension section. And in each of the lessons, we try to utilize all your skills, which would be reading, writing, listening, and speaking. And so this is the reading section, and this is the comprehensive section, which um, has sort of abstract questions so that you're forced to speak in English on a higher level than just responding to answers that you can find. And then we would end the lesson, um, most of the time for children, with a song. So the song for this lesson is, Who Let the Dogs Out? And we have the lyrics. And you would also be emailed these lyrics prior to the lesson along with the grammar spot and an activity to prepare you for the lesson. And then we would go to YouTube and we would play your lesson. And you can listen to the song and listen to the lyrics. Now at the top of the board here, we have a recording. So you can record your entire lesson and play it back at future time whenever you'd like to listen to it. And that's about it.